that I pulled up earlier um, this week or, or over the weekend. Um, this is from one of the local newspapers. It says, we feel very strongly that the soccer fans of the area should be heard with regard to naming the team. This, after all, will be their team. Now, you might think that that sounds like uh, Todd Lewicki or Joe Roth or myself. Um, that was actually Walt Daggett, who was the managing general partner of the then North American Soccer League entry into, uh, into the North American Soccer League in 1973, December of 1973. They went through this process. And um, you know, it, it sort of indicated to me, to us, that this has always been the fans' team. Um, and it will continue to be the fans team that, that our um, our job is to carry the torch to be stewards of this franchise um, to go bigger and better and, and beyond what's been done in the past but our but our dedication will be to the fans I was uh, I was seven years old at the time uh, uh, that that <laughs> franchise came to Seattle and, and that sort of began my love affair with the, the sounders and soccer in Seattle. Um, uh, I went to every game, every party after the game uh, to, to get autographs, went to all the camps. Um, I do have to interject here and apologize to my mother, who I see out there, who dragged me to all of these events from when I was seven until, you know, 18 or 19, and, and I think that believed that when I became an adult that maybe this would all be done with. and and that she wouldn't have to you know, continue to be involved in this uh, sport and this team. But um, it looks like she's got another bunch of years ahead of her uh, of, of Sounder games. Um, the, uh, the original Sounders uh, of NASL had you know, just great, great passion, great players. Obviously, that was a time of Pele and, and uh, Giorgio Canalia and Johan Cruyff and uh, Franz Beckenbauer. Um, I, I do also want to recognize two gentlemen that are here today who, who probably mean more to this soccer in this city uh, than anybody else, um, uh, and that is uh, uh, Jimmy Gabriel and Alan Hinton, who are back there. So Jimmy and Alan um, uh, were part of the original North American Soccer League team, um, and, and you know it's important that they were coaches, players, involved in the game in that way, but they stayed in this community. Um, for the next you know, 30, 35 years, and they helped build the foundation, um, you know, the youth system, the college programs. Um, they built, built the foundation of soccer upon which we now get to um, embark and, and again go bigger and better and, and, and keep this team um, uh, in the city and, and build a franchise that's meaningful worldwide uh, over the next generations. Um, after the, uh, the NASL days, there's obviously the uh, United Soccer League's history. Um, fifteen seasons, um, one losing season in those fifteen seasons. Um, as Todd mentioned, two of the last three years have been championships. Um, by the way, our, our head coach is here of, of the USL team, and those fifteen, one losing season of fifteen includes this season. So. Hopefully, we, uh, we will also be able to save three out of four uh, championships. So where are we going with this, uh, with this new franchise? Um, obviously, it's, it's going to be built on a tradition of winning. Um, it's been, um, uh, the, the bar has set hot, been, been set high um, by the North American Soccer League Sounders, by the USL Sounders. And we're, we're going to have extremely high expectations of this new franchise. As Joe mentioned, this will be a franchise that's built internationally. It'll also be built domestically, but we will absolutely scour the globe um, to find the next Ronaldinho, perhaps the next Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, the other person I do want to recognize briefly is uh, Chris Henderson. Um, Chris, Chris is over here. Chris. Um, um, Chris is the technical director of, of the new MLS franchise. Um, this is a young man who um, played 80 times for the United States national team, uh, one of the best American players ever to play the game. Um, and Chris uh, and I will, will again meet.